But now coming to the point about this picture of Jesus in the Quran, God says that this is from me to you. The Christian says, no, this is Muhammad's creation. So let us analyze what I have just read to you. You see, at the very first verse that I read to you, God Almighty is telling us, to, through Muhammad, telling us that Mary was a woman chosen by God Almighty above the women of all nations. This is enshrined in the Quran. Mary, the mother of Jesus, a woman above the women of all nations. So the question arises, why would Muhammad say such a thing? That he is honoring the mother of his opposition, if there is such a thing. There isn't. Muhammad belongs to the same brotherhood of the prophets of God. Moses, David, Solomon, Jesus, Muhammad. It's a brotherhood of prophethood. But from the Christian point of view, Muhammad is an opposition. He's a challenger to the integrity and position of Jesus. But now this person is telling the world, Muslims as well as non-Muslims, that Mary, the mother of Jesus, she was chosen above the women of all nations. And this he's telling in the first instance to his own people. Because Muhammad, he will admit, was an Arab. He was not an Indian, I'm an Indian, of Indian extraction. I come from South Africa. We have some Sudanese brethren from Africa. We have some Malay brethren from Indonesia, Malaysia. He wasn't speaking to them. He was speaking to his own people, the Arabs. And he was telling them that not a, an Arab woman, not his own mother or his wife or his daughter, which was chosen above the women of all nations, but Mary, the mother of Jesus, a mother of his opposition. I'm asking people, the missionaries, please account for that. Why would an Arab go out of his way to provoke other Arabs, telling them that a Jewess, a woman from a nation that has been looking down upon them for 3,000 years, a nation that was looking down upon the Arabs for 3,000 years, they keep on repeating that Father Abraham had two wives, Sarah and Hajara. They say Sarah and Hagar. And they say that Sarah was his legitimate wife. But Hajara was a bond woman, a slave woman. And her children, they disparagingly describe as the Hagarines, the children of Hagar. Hagarines is a new term they have invented the missionaries and in the books they say now Islam is not Islam which means a religion of peace but it, they say it's Hagarism you know a religion of, from the children of Hagar Hagarism this is how they call us Arabs are Hagarines and the religion of Islam is Hagarism they have been looking down upon the Arabs as the children of that bond woman, that slave woman. And even today, the Jews look down upon the Arab peasants. They still look down. 3,000 years they have been looking down upon these people. And yet, this mighty messenger of God, he honors this Jewess and says, please account for that. Why would an Arab go out of his way? He's going out of his way to provoke his own people and honor a Jewess. Explain that. Unless he was commanded from a higher source because on the human level from the human point of view to me there is no woman better than my mother or my wife or my daughter why yours my opponent my opposition why